श्री श्री आनंद महिमात की जय क्वेश्चन मां इज द आवर ऑफ डेथ फिक्स्ड बिफोर हैंड मां इन द रेल्म इन विच द लॉज ऑफ नेचर फंक्शन इट इज फिक्स्ड एंड कैन नॉट बी एवर्टेड बट बाय द विल और ग्रेस ऑफ वन हु हैज गॉन बियॉन्ड दोज लॉज इट मे बी अल्टर्ड एज अ रूल फेट विल हैव इट्स वे सम हाउ और अदर इट विल वर्क इट सेल्फ आउट to illustrate this fact ma related a story which she often tells once upon a time there was a learned brahmin one night while he and his family were asleep a poisonous snake entered the house and stung his wife son and daughter within a few moments all of them were dead the brahmin naturally felt sorely grieved and dejected what to do now he watched the snake crawl away and leave the house in his despair he ran behind the reptile after following it for some distance he saw the snake change into two fighting bulls after they had killed each other a beautiful young girl emerged on the spot two men started quarreling over the lovely lady a fight ensued and they stabbed each other to death while the young beauty went on her way deeply pained and puzzled the brahmin kept close to her heels finally she turned around and said why do you follow me leave me alone not until you explain to me who you are first you were a snake and your poisonous fangs blotted out my whole family then you turned into two fighting bulls that perished and now taking on the shape of a charming girl you have caused the death of two men tell me who you are the young woman tried to escape but the brahmin would not let her go first disclose your identity then you may go where you please at long last he got the reply i am destiny i do not kill anyone but man by the results of his own actions causes his own death in some manner or other if this is so said the brahmin tell me how i shall die by drowning with these words the woman disappeared the brahmin made up his mind to counteract destiny let me see how i shall die by drowning if i keep far away from water he thought after attending to the funeral rites for his wife and children he disposed of his house and wandered high up into the mountains there he decided to spend the rest of his life one evening when as usual he was looking for shelter for the night he sighted at some distance a large and well built house obviously the mansion of a wealthy person when the owner saw the brahmin approach he invited him with courtesy to be his guest he started talking to him and soon found that he was a learned man how much further do you want to trek he said please make your home in my house my whole family will benefit by the company of such a learned and cultured pandit the brahmin also felt attracted to his host and his sons he thought the family seems pleasant and well to do there are hills on all sides and no water course anywhere near what better place can i find and he remained he stayed for a number of years teaching the sons grandsons began to grow up one of the little boys got greatly attached to the old pandit and spent much time near him one day the head of the family said to the pandit we are all going down to banaras to bathe in the ganga since a very auspicious day is nearing which occurs only once in 100 years please do join us the brahmin flatly refused however the little grandson began to cry and declared firmly 
he would not go without his beloved pandit and rather stay at home with him when therefore his host tried again and again to persuade him to join in the trip the pandit finally disclosed his reasons for refusing to go is that all said his host be without fear i shall construct a special bathing place for you very shallow and surrounded by a strong railing not even a small child will be in danger of drowning there after much controversy the brahmin at last agreed to go his host kept his word he made excellent arrangements for the pandit's safety exactly as promised the brahmin entered the water carrying the little boy in his arms suddenly the child changed into a crocodile and with the words i am destiny dragged the old man over the railing into the main current this is how fate will have its way according to one's karma the date and manner of one's death is preordained shri shri anandamayi mat ki jay